my loves, what's good, what's good? Welcome back, of course, it's none other than your girl cooking with Tammy, and today I'm gonna show you how to make a quick and easy salmon taco recipe. When I tell you this stuff, the salmon taco recipe is gonna be hands down delicious. So without further ado, let's quickly introduce these ingredients and get to cooking. Of course, I will rinse the salmon off using cold water, salt, and lemon juice, and here we are. Took a paper towel, pat it dry, and we're done. Um, for our other ingredients, we're going to need some oil, any oil of your choice, whether it be avocado, olive oil, or even veggie oil, whatever you have, right? For our seasonings, we're going to need onion powder, garlic powder, paprika, lemon pepper, dried oregano, dried Italian seasoning, roasted garlic and herb seasoning, and chicken bouillon, along with lemon juice, fresh or bottled, Italian dressing, and of course, we're gonna need some tortilla shells. I'm gonna be using street tacos for this particular recipe and it's gonna be the zero net carbs uh, tacos and they're also keto friendly. With all of that being said, let's get to cooking. First thing we wanna do to this oil right here is we're gonna add our onion powder. We're also gonna add our garlic powder along with our paprika. Of course, this is not smoked, but regular paprika. Don't use smoke because it's gonna be a little bit too pungent. We're also gonna add some ground black pepper. I think I forgot to mention that. Lemon pepper, dried oregano, Italian seasoning, chicken bouillon, roasted garlic and herb, lemon juice, good amount. And we're also gonna add our Italian dressing. Once we're done, we're gonna give everything a good mix, make sure everything is well incorporated. This is a seasoning marinade that I made up, and when I tell you it's so complimentary, oh my goodness, it's gonna bring out the best flavors in the seafood. We're gonna bring our salmon back on in. We want all of our flavors to run deep into the salmon, so we're gonna place some slits into the salmon, no particular order. Just in case you're wondering, I did leave the skin on the salmon. Of course, I went in there and I scraped the skin to make sure there's no scales. However, after the salmon is prepared anyway, we're not gonna need the skin. We're gonna take some of our marinade and we're just gonna place it onto the salmon. At this point in time, if you are gonna be using an air fryer, you should definitely turn that air fryer on and preheat it on up. However, this recipe is not limited to only using the air fryer. You can definitely place the salmon into the oven, of course. All you're gonna need is a baking sheet lined with some aluminum foil and you're gonna place it into the oven at 350 degrees for about 17 minutes. That looks beautiful. Because we placed the slits into the salmon, all of the flavors is gonna seep into the salmon. It's gonna be flavor in every single bite. You know my motto, we want flavors in every single bite. By this time, if you are gonna be using an air fryer, your air fryer should be heated. Tammy, do I have to marinate my seafood overnight or for a couple hours? The great thing about this recipe is, no, you don't have to. All you gotta do is add your marinade, and once you're done, place it into your air fryer or into your preheated oven, and boom, we're ready to go. Couple things before we head on over to the air fryer. Can I use this marinade on other types of seafood if I don't want to use it on salmon or if I don't have salmon? Most definitely, this marinade could be used on shrimp. It can also be used on cod, snapper, whatever fish of your preference. Nevertheless, it's still gonna taste absolutely delicious. We're gonna hit our air fryer off with some oil. Let's lubricate it on up just a bit. <laughs> We're gonna place it into our air fryer. Just like that. And we're gonna close it one down. Now, when it comes to the cooking instructions for the air fryer, you're gonna have to figure that part out because of course, every brand of air fryer is totally different. But we are gonna cook it until it's nice and flaky. Time for us to heat up our tortillas. So make sure that pan is nice and hot. We're gonna add a small drizzle of oil. Now you don't have to heat your tortillas up with oil if you don't want to. It's all about preference. This pan is hot, so I would advise you to definitely be careful. 
kind of toast the tortillas on up on each side. It should take about, let's say, maybe 20 seconds on each side, depending on how hot the pan is. Let's turn the stove top off and grab these tortillas on up. Let's get our salmon onto the plate. And we're just gonna shred this salmon. Just like that. And the skin is still intact. So of course, if you don't wanna rock out the salmon skin, you don't have to. After you finish shredding the salmon, you can always toss the skin. Let's put these tacos together. I think we can all agree this looks absolutely amazing, right? We're gonna take a good amount of salmon and we're gonna place it onto the tacos, just like that. Let's get some more, let's be a little greedy. <laughs> Perfect. We're also gonna add some shredded lettuce. This is a, a coleslaw blend or coleslaw mix. Just add a little bit on top, just like that, for that nice crunch. We're gonna add some of our favorite sauce. This is the Tostito Fiesta Ranch sauce. It has a little kick to it. We're just gonna add a small amount that on each taco. We're also going to hit it with some of our flavor uh, craver taco ranch. This has a little kick to it as well. They're going to work together and bring out the ultimate flavor. Just a small drizzle. That's all we need. Now to take these tacos over the top. Believe me when I tell you pepperoncini peppers it's the way to go. It's definitely the way to go. I'm gonna place that just like that. And once you're done, you're gonna close that taco on up. You're gonna get to eating and you're gonna definitely enjoy this recipe. This recipe is not a traditional recipe. This is a cooking with Sammy recipe, all right? And the flavors are going to be phenomenal. Definitely give this recipe a try. Let me know what you think, and I will definitely keep these delicious recipes coming.